We'll talk about the factors exactly. that hinder IT operations. And as long as I know, we will hear some important news from you uh, about op manager and the future of op manager. Great, I have that bucket with me. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me here. And uh, I'm going to share my screen. Once I share my screen, just confirm if you can see it and then we'll proceed quickly. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, it's on, it's on. Perfect, thank you. All right, so uh, why IT operations management is uh, required all these things, this has already been discussed throughout the day. So I, I'll not uh, drag a lot on that. So let me introduce myself. My, my name is Aswim and I'm the technical account manager for IT operations management segment of Manage Engine, which includes uh, six different applications together. Uh, and my role in the company is uh, since last seven years. And yeah, I'm doing this uh, since last seven, year, seven years and enjoying it. Now, let's understand what is the need of IT, uh, uh, today's IT. The today's IT is complex that we know very well. So we require more unified management solutions, which can do multiple things. So multitasking of human was required, but now I want my solutions to do multitasking also. So uh, this, this multiple activities or multiple solutions that I can deliver using unified uh, application, it'll help me to reduce the footprint, faster troubleshooting, and to maintain that application to renew your license, or if there is some problem in that application itself, which is helping you to solve these problems, the maintenance for these applications will be also less. The more the number of applications you have to do different type of activities, more the number of um, times you may have some failure with that. So the maintenance of these application becomes very tough over the period of time if you have multiple solutions or multiple applications for different, different problems. So today's IT requires more unified and multi-purpose uh, solutions. So that 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 is the uh, next thing that it brings me that what kind of multiple solutions an IT operations management uh, tool should offer. So the, the offering or the benefits of um, a better IT operations management solution should start from your hardware till your cloud. So the, the combination of the hybrid network that we have, uh, which also includes hybrid work culture since 2020. Uh, these are the two challenging factors which, which includes your uh, on-premise network, your virtualized network, your cloud applications, your cloud servers, cloud services, all these things make it more complex. Along with that, you have this VPN, the SSL VPN, the site-to-site -site VPN, the IPsec VPN, these things. So to have all these things together, this Manage Engine's offering, the Manage Engine's offering on IT operations management solutions starts from your network level to services level, including your server, storage, application. Moreover, we are working on the microservices. So till now we are, we are all focusing on up to the services level to monitor. The next generation thing, which is going to be a, a challenging part for IT operations management is the microservice management. So we are working on various uh, angle to help you with all these existing visibility of your IT infrastructure components, starting from network servers, storage application services, including your security also then optimize your IT resources with the help of the beneficial reports that we have, which helps you with the uh, strategic um, way, how you should deal with your forecasting, how should you deal with your past utilization or failures, uh, and how should you plan for future. Uh, for that, you get a better optimized um, a report solution, which helps you to optimize your IT in, uh, indeed. Then uh, it also provides you quick and effective access to mission critical applications. So every application that we run in the network may or may not be a mission critical. Which one is my mission critical? For example, uh, you take uh, eBay, 
or you take uh, an organization that the most critical thing is there, let's say the web server. So the web server service is going to be their mission critical uh, service or that particular application, the database itself or um, uh, your, your um, uh, switching off um, the devices in HA. So these are, th these are few things in the network that you have mission critical. So how do you effectively do those mission critical applications or services or even your URLs or you take it as your um, hardwares uh, or even if you're virtual machines, how do you deal with those mission critical ones? So we, we deal separately with categorization, with uh, business views. So those kind of things you already know about in the previous presentations, how, what kind of features you get that. So our goal is to have more effective um, a plate of different type of grouping where you can have your focus on mission critical ones or on-demand critical ones. So it may be, let's say this uh, part of the year is something that you want to focus on every single component of your network. Maybe the second half of the year, you just want to focus on the problematic ones. Uh, so those kind of grouping uh, is going to be more focused on. Then reduce application and network outage by monitoring everything in real time. So I'm going to reveal something uh, that we did in 2020 in the next uh, slide that how we had things before to do real time monitoring and how we have come forward uh, with more advanced uh, technology. Then identify the exact fault and troubleshoot to achieve higher SLA. That's pretty much understandable that no one, no organization want to have a higher uh, downtime. So the longer the downtime, uh, you have a long, a bigger loss in the business. So to have better SLA or to reduce the downtime, if there is a problem, you have to have better troubleshooting capability. It is indi indicating somewhere towards your workflow system where uh, without your human power, without less, uh, without, without more human power, how effectively you can deal with your problems, not just to identify them, also to solve them. Now, let's quickly understand what kind of things we did it in 2020, uh, what milestones we achieved in 2020 quickly. So in 2020, we, we uh, released the MSP edition. So previously we had the standard edition, we had professional edition, we had uh, even uh, enterprise edition, but we did not have MSP edition. MSP edition pretty much critical for MSPs who deal with multiple clients, multiple location, um, and under one client, multiple location. So the, the complexity of uh, the MSP architecture is more. And when you integrate, when you come up with your uh, service desk, the, the asset management, the way you do the asset management, asset relationship for each customer, for each location. Um, so th those, those are the things we wanted to bring it together with Desktop Central from uh, um, Service Test Plus, uh, MSP. And also we want to integrate the OP Manager side because OP Manager also deals with the same assets that you have in your um, uh, Service Test MSP, uh, Service Test Plus MSP. Now, the integration to bring that, we had to build a platform which will match the Service Test MSP, uh, Service Test Plus MSP edition as well. And that is the reason we, we came up with this OP Manager MSP edition, which will provide you a better relationship management between assets uh, to their locations. That is one. And the second thing is, it will also help you in a better management of your clients or the customers if you are, if you are an MSP. Uh, and the, the communication, previously we had the enterprise edition, uh, where you had a two-way communication between uh, the probe and the central. But now in MSP edition, it's going to be just one-way communication. So it's going to be more secure than ever before. We also came up with this agent-based OP manager. This is critical. Uh, why? Because uh, the ideal situation of OP Manager, if you install an OP Manager um, uh, setup in, in any central um, server, or if you go for enterprise edition, 
one installation of op manager has the capability to handle up to 1000 devices not above that so to have better scalability to have more better performance and more real time monitoring we had to do something and that is like you put the pressure you put the put the monitoring pressure to the monitoring device itself using an agent so if we bring all the monitoring parameters to one machine then it's a java based application you cannot have even if you have 64 gb of ram it's not going to help that java will not occupy that so uh, we built this agent to keep two things in line one to increase the scalability with better performance and second in future it will help us to build up our cloud based op manager as well so in that scenario this agent is going to be more power powerful than even a probe itself um, so the probe is going to just provide the information to the agent saying that okay i need only five parameters to be monitored gather them and after two hours one of the parameter one of the metric has been deleted from the probe this probe is going to inform the agent that okay now i don't need five i just need four so the probe is going to be just the communicator to the agent to gather the information from the monitoring device but entire monitoring system entire activity of or, or gathering of information will happen only within that machine itself now this is going to be more secure because you are no more going to provide the wmi credential or snmp credential to do this job so agent less mechanism which is been there since the beginning beginning of op manager that will still be there for the people who prefer agentless and also this agent based op manager will also be there um, it's been introduced since 2020 where people do not want to provide their credential to do the communication and fetch the information so security wise performance wise and scalability wise it's going to be much better than before and then few more uh, releases we did uh, for example uh, stack switch monitoring or advanced reporting system where you can customize your own report or design your report with different graphs or different columns that you want then automatic discovery previously we had manual discovery only but now the moment you install op manager it starts checking itself that if you have a domain controller it starts checking what kind of servers you have connected to it so it tries to do the automatic discovery itself so it's 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 an optional option and then much secured database upgrade that we did after eight years um, so this pg sql 10.10 and mickey light migration that was one of the major thing for which we we upgraded our version from 12.4 to 12.5 so that was the upgrade when we uh, changed our database and this one comes with multi-layer encryption what is this multi-layer encryption you have your database encrypted by default and the second thing is the encrypted database will be protected by encrypted password encrypted database will be protected by encrypted password that encrypted password cannot be decrypted even by the user themselves so if you want to access the database to do any update query any delete query show query can be done but update query and delete query these kind of things update or delete you want to do uh, or add a new thing uh, there those kind of things you cannot do yourself without consulting the vendor who can actually decrypt that password for you even though the encrypted password is still there in your machine that cannot be decrypted even by the user itself so it is much more secure and uh, the chances of db corruption um, is reduced now since the time we have released it we, we see that the database corruption type of issues that we used to get before due to some kind of hamper that has been reduced drastically then uh, bgp link availability flap monitoring then storage device uh, has been um, elaborated now with more number of devices so those are a few other releases that we did in 2020 and 2021 for op manager is going to be super exciting uh, however the focus will be towards security more that means how uh, we are going to authenticate the traditional method of authenticating within the application will be there 
but there will be more secured methods as well. So path analysis is going to be there in 2021, where we can monitor the hop to hop traffic or direction of the traffic, those kind of things. And uh, also uh, forecasting and adaptive threshold uh, setting, adaptive threshold setting. Right now we are doing with ML, but we are going to be um, putting it towards the AI ops, more, more, more like towards the AI ops. So, so that area will be there. Then RCA root cause analysis will will be available by the Q3, Q4 of 2021. Uh, that uh, process has already been started. Then SAML uh, authentication is going to be there. Uh, SAML authentication is um, actually more secure. Uh, even though it looks very easy uh, because you get one console where you can just click on the icon and you get authenticated. Uh, it looks easy from the front end, but in the back end, it makes more secure uh, the way you authenticate. You don't put in your credential using SM SAML, uh, but it, it authenticates you because you have those things in the back end already stored. So this two factor authentication with SAML will be available. It will be available very soon because that's one of the high priority thing that we are working on. Then Password Manager Pro um, integration will be there. Um, this is because, again, not to use the same credential in multiple databases. That means if you have Password Manager Pro, uh, then the same can be used within OP Manager as well without adding the credentials again and again within OP Manager. So you already have the database uh, of um, uh, credentials there in PMP and that can be used here. Now, um, the beautiful news that I see here is the Turkish language support will be available from 2021. So we are working on it. So once it will be released, you'll, you'll get notification on that. So Turkish, Turkish language, we are working on to release it soon. And then uh, some add-on roadmaps, uh, like your NetFlow Analyzer, Firewall Analyzer, Network Configuration Manager, um, those kind of uh, add-ons that comes with OP Manager to make it as OP Manager Plus. Uh, they have some exciting uh, roadmap for 2021. Um, automated threat management is going to be there, but it will only be available with OP Manager Plus. It will not be available with NetFlow Analyzer itself uh, uh, because we will be using the workflow feature of OP Manager more enhanced way. So. We, we will be setting the workflow uh, uh, in such a way that it will collaborate the flow packets, uh, syslogs, and Windows events. Uh, it will do the RCA there, the root cause analysis, like synthetic analysis type of thing. And then it will try to understand if there is a malicious activity happening. So those kind of things will be done in OP Manager Plus alone. But if you have OP Manager Plus, but you don't have licenses for other add-ons, then, then that will also not work. So uh, th this, this whole purpose of making OP Manager Plus as OP Manager Plus since last five years is coming towards picture right now with these kind of features. And then uh, a rule expiry notification. So th there was one question, uh, if, if I can talk about this, I was reading the questions through um, uh, throughout this uh, discussions, there was one question uh, asked, I translated and understood that question. Like, can firewall analyzer um, detect the duplicate rules? Uh, there was a question. Uh, absolutely, that is, that is one of the core feature of it. Not just the duplicate rules, it can even understand unused rule, expired rules, inactive rules, redundant rules. It can understand those, those kind of things. And uh, the rule management capability of Firewall Analyzer is uh, magnificent. Um, and then um, the change approval process within Firewall rules. That means change approval process you already have in Network Configuration Manager. That means operator can raise a request that I want to do this change and the administrator will approve or reject it after a review. This, this feature we already have in Network Configuration Manager, but we are bringing that feature for Firewall Analyzer also. Why? Because the Firewall Rule Administration feature is exclusive only in Firewall Analyzer. That means you can add, modify, or delete the Firewall rules. But to do that, we need this change approval process with the integration of Service Desk Plus. Uh, so that is that is there in the roadmap of Firewall Analyzer. Then vulnerability assessment for network devices uh, with uh, notification for firmware vulnerability. For example, I'm running 
an older build of older version of firmware in my Cisco uh, switch or router. So what kind of vulnerability was there in that particular uh, iOS or, or the, the firmware, those information we, we already gathered in an audit report. So what it will do, this new feature is it's going to do more, more analysis on the recent iOS or recent firmwares of different vendors in a cloud server. And then it will notify if you have internet based server where you have internet access to OP manager, it will notify you that this firmware has this, these many vulnerabilities and this firmware is installed in this particular device. So those kind of features we are building to notify that if there is any loophole already or weak configuration already or uh, a vulnerability detected already, so those kind of things. Then automated firmware upgrade using workflow. So firmware upgrade, we are already doing it um, using NCM, Network Configuration Manager. But to automate these things, right now it's a very much manual task that you write the script, all these things. But using workflow, we can make this more automated where it will be more smooth for larger enterprises. If it is a small enterprise, small um, uh, network, it doesn't matter. But when you have hundreds of thousands of devices to do the firmware upgrade, it's, it's actually a pain. So this thing we are going to automate. Um, then this is one thing I want to discuss at the end of my, my uh, discussion here, that what is our vision, what we are proceeding with. Uh, we have been there since uh, maybe more than two decades now. Uh, but where are we heading now? What is our goal in, 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 in the uh, next few years, I can say? The pandemic, the, the 2020 pandemic has completely changed the way the network was being monitored. Uh, even though it's, it's not completely changed, but there are many new things which came into picture to monitor, which were been not discovered before. For example, the organization which used to deal with 40 VPN users, now they deal with 400 VPN users. Uh, it, was, it was like people didn't even know that what kind of things they should monitor from a VPN connection. Uh, so there are many, many, many more things that came up uh, which, were, which were there in shadow, but they came up. So, and the other thing happened was a very big thing. Everybody knows it. Uh, that there was a very big security breach happened and we are not happy about it. Uh, because uh, when, when any application has been breached or any, any kind of tool which has been breached, uh, then the, the entire community or entire, uh, entire uh, industry who, who trust to monitor something using a software, that trust breaks out. That means Right now, if you think that, okay, let's say I build a new organization, I have a new network, I want to monitor my devices. To trust any kind of solution, I have to first understand how secure that solution is. I, I should not understand this thing that how, uh, how old the company is who is building this software. Let's say how old Manage Engine is to build OP Manager. That is less priority compared to how secure OP Manager is, uh, what kind of things are open in that, whether it is comply to um, the, the standards or not. So what is the data privacy policy of Manage Engine? What is the data security policy of Manage Engine? So security, we have kept it in the first place since the beginning of Zoho Corporation itself. Uh, and security with better user experience is another thing. If you put a lot of security, for example, um, if I put a password policy that uh, if you install OP Manager, uh, I will force you to change the change the uh, password then and there, or I'll force you to uh, put your email address then and there. Um, so that is like uh, that is secure. If you put those information, that is secure enough. Uh, but is that giving me pleasant experience? What if I just want to check the GUI and I I don't want to continue for the so i cannot even see that without changing my password so even even if i put a lot of security if i don't have a better user experience that doesn't that doesn't help much so our goal is to provide better security with the application 
with better user experience um, and scalability with better performance. So scalability incre increment, we try to achieve using agent-based OP manager, but also we are trying to improve it in the agent-less mechanism that we are running since beginning. So agent-less as well as the agent-based. In both scenario, we want to increase the scalability but we don't want to reduce the performance out of it. So the garbage collection or the Java's performance tuning, those kind of things, we are focusing more to have more better performance, even though the the, the monitoring, the polling interval uh, reduces or, or more frequent polling you do or more number of interfaces that you want to monitor, even though those happen, still the performance should not decrease. Th those are our goal to do. Uh, then deep integration with internal and external applications. We have many applications within Manage Engine, for example, PMP, Password Manager Pro, or Service Test Plus, or Desktop Central. We have many tools internally available, uh, even Site 24-7. So these internal applications that we have, we want to integrate them. So uh, the, the user experience, when you have multiple tools from Manage Engine, your experience will be much higher than just having one application. If you have multiple tools from Manage Engine, they should talk to each other. So that is our, our goal and external applications as well. I would like to quote one question I, I saw in, in the panel that uh, the, 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 the uh, application is able to trigger email notification, but can we, uh, can, can we get, can we trigger a call uh, like uh, an audio call using some soft phone, Cisco, some, some kind of thing, that kind of question it was. Uh, so right now the deep integration is not there um, but yes you can use some web hooks or some kind of things to do that but our goal is to integrate more such kind of application by default so you don't have to worry about any notification type of things so those those are our goal to proceed then next generation features like uh, uh, P2P, um, uh, VPN, side-to-side um, -side VPN monitoring or hybrid work culture, whatever the problems we face in the hybrid work culture, those kind of things, we want to focus there. And the last thing, not the least, is that we want to listen to the feedbacks because now the world is facing much different type of challenges that we never saw before. So it is, it is the users who we expect to come to us and let us know that what they want. So we want to listen to more feedbacks from you so we can improve ourselves and we can deliver better things. So maybe one organization has some kind of challenge that the other organization doesn't, other organization doesn't have. So it's, it's, it's we who can be a collaborative um, uh, member and we can try to bring such features which can be helpful for you and maybe for others as well. So we want to listen more and more feedbacks and please be open and come, come to us saying that, okay, what do you want? How do you want? What kind of enhancement you want? So maybe we cannot deliver everything right then and there, but at least we'll understand and prioritize the things and we can try to deliver one by one. So that kind of pipeline, we want to have a better pipeline for the future with the new challenges that we have. So that's, that's uh, about it. And thank you so much for bearing me for such a long time. Um, I really thank you for, for uh, uh, coming and listening to me. Have a beautiful one. Take care. Thanks, Aswim. Thanks for the presentation. It looks like, I mean, I'm just listening to the presentation. It looks like 2020 has been an exciting year for uh, manager teams and uh, users in terms of improvements in security, performance, and scalability. And it appears like there's more to come including Absolutely. Turkish language support and many other <laughs> many other features perfect thanks thanks Absolutely. for all the information you shared